I went shopping at Walmart. I know, weird. Today's video is so much fun. I'm definitely not the first person to make this statement, but oh my gosh, the clothes at Walmart are so cute. It could have been super easy to just pick any cute outfit, but I really, really like scouted the entire store. So I didn't pick outfits just to put content out there. These are items that if I would have find them at H&M, ASOS, Nasty Gal, Boohoo, like I would genuinely purchase them. Let me show you what I picked up. So the first part is gonna be a haul and then the second one is gonna be me showing you the outfits that I put together. The first item in this haul, it's a black hoodie and I didn't realize what a statement piece an oversized black hoodie could be. This one is from the brand Fruit of the Loom. Honestly, good old plain black hoodie, but wow, the way you can dress this up or down, I am amazed. Next, we have two flannel type items. These were definitely my favorite prints. Like again, I picked things that I would generally wear. If you guys watch any of my latest videos, you guys know I'm going through a phase where I just I feel very neutral. I don't feel like wearing many bright colors. These are it. So I got two flannel. This one is a size large, but I just love the color of it. And I also picked up this one. And then they're both true flannel materials, which I love. This one, I did get it in a size 3XL. First off, it's the only size I had left in this print and I fell in love with the print. And second, it's oversized because I plan on wearing it as a dress. I know, cute. So I gotta be honest, like I said, I didn't pick items that I wouldn't generally wear and there's a lot of denim jeans. Honestly, none of them really call my attention. I will say the one thing that Walmart is lacking is cute pants, but I picked these up from the men's section. I tried to find the smallest, it's 29. I Googled like what's the smallest size in men's like pants and apparently it's 28, correct me if I'm wrong. I have a feeling these are gonna fit a little bit big, which I'm fine with. I mean, baggy pants are in, I just love the leg, the straight bootleg and like the color this honestly looks like some quality denim jeans and it's got no stretch and then this is something that urban outfitters could totally carry i really like this one is so cute i got a really big puffer jacket puffer jackets are clearly very in right now this one is very long which i think will look super cute with the outfit i have in mind i got in a size large because i don't like things to be slim fitting i just like oversized things i think they're really stylish and the last fact that i have to show you i have this one, oh, this one's cute. I got this one from the men's section. It's a little shirt jacket thing from Wrangler. This looks like something straight from H&M. The color is so cute. I got one basic item. This is a sweater. I just honestly feel like you can never have enough of these. This can go so many ways. This gives you Madewell Everlane vibes, very minimal, and it feels so nice and so soft. I'm the empress. Another basic that I picked up because I needed a white turtleneck and I didn't want to pay much money because all my white turtlenecks end up having a lot of makeup on them. I just wear them so much that they honestly don't last a lot. And I got this one from there, white turtleneck. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got this one. I thought I didn't purchase this one and I was sad about it, but oof, this one's so cute. I don't know what to call it. I'm pretty sure this is just like a turtleneck sweatshirt. I was hoping this will fit me like a dress, so I picked it up in a size extra large. But again, we'll see once I do the actual outfits and I got some pair of pants that I actually purchased a few weeks ago way before this whole Walmart video idea started I wear them a lot and they're from Walmart and they are these flare yoga pants look at the leg it's so trendy right now it was literally I think like eight dollars but these I've been wearing non-stop the total for today's haul was $140 and I got 10 pieces not bad at all I mean obviously it's Walmart we were definitely expecting this but now that I show you what I got let's put together some outfits if you guys know me, you know I am obsessed with accessorizing, especially when it comes to like gold pieces. Whether it's Walmart, whatever you're styling, I would recommend always accessorize. It's gonna elevate your outfit instantly, make it look that much cooler. Staple gold earrings, preferably like chunky or on the bolder side, some chains and some rings on your finger. You are set. I didn't bring any extra shirts or pants. I'm only styling Walmart pieces. This flannel I think will look super cute as a dress. I got it in a size extra large like I mentioned so I think this would be long enough to cover anything. As you can tell this is pretty oversized. Simply roll the sleeves. That's actually going to make it look so much more stylish. This looks so cute. I am super comfortable with the length of this. Now I'm going to pair it with some Doc Martin boots. How cute is this outfit? The final touch would be a purse. I love taking a very grungy like tomboy outfit like the one I'm wearing and pairing it with a very contrasting girly fancy purse and this is our first walmart outfit this was ten dollars because we only needed one piece now i live 
summer where it gets really cold in the winter and this is something that I could definitely not wear right now which is why I bought the puffer jacket this is what it looks like with a puffer on I really like it I definitely would feel more comfortable going out like this here's an elevated version of the past outfit picked up this oversized extra large black hoodie and I want to try switching the outfit that I'm currently wearing just maybe layering the hoodie underneath this since it's so long it's definitely going to cover our booties in case the hoodie doesn't so let me try this one under and see what it looks like don't worry I have some shorts underneath but honestly this hoodie as is maybe if I was to wear some denim shorts so it's not too what's the word I'm looking for Scandalous, uh, but honestly if you're into this vibe get a $10 hoodie from Walmart and you're set But because it's kind of a given I mean everybody just wears hoodies as a dress Let's try layering this it definitely helps with the fact that the hoodie is too short to be a dress So I like the length you already know my favorite purse ever, but this is an outfit option no pants theme I'm gonna try this one on and see what it looks like oh my gosh I'm happy to report it's an appropriate length also I should probably mention this because I'll probably be getting this in the comments I am 5'4 just for like height difference and how things fit me lengthwise so 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 cute and obviously you already know the flannel wow I love the neck on this it's so cozy to switch up our purse a little bit because honestly I could style anything with that other black one here's what it looks like with this multi pochette from Louis I think the brown looks so cute with this look at this outfit my gosh i am obsessed this one's kind of a given but i just wanted to show you what it would look like if you were to just wear this one as is with a cute purse and some boots this one as is so cute i got the puffer jacket purposely to layer these sweater dress outfit so let's put it on I already know it's gonna look so cute for this one i do think that the black chain purse would definitely look the best i hope you can hear me i feel like this jacket is so loud but here we have it another winter outfit a second if i was to look at someone on the street and see them in this outfit i would have never guessed in a million years that it's from walmart so this is so cute now let's actually put some pants and style some outfits with these i hope they fit cute so let's try them on like i suspected they definitely fit a lot more loose than i wish especially in the stop area i don't mind the leg the leg is absolutely stunning like even with like heel boots so yeah if i were to find like a smaller size that'd be nice even maybe like get them tailored these were 10.44 so for ten dollars seriously not bad at all i do have to say they kind of smell a little bit weird just like new denim i want to style these with the graphic tee i feel like graphic tee and jeans are such a classic combo tuck it in like that let me put on some shoes i feel like my vision is not coming to life one of my favorite ways to style platform converse is with some long baggy jeans so let's put these on if you're into the trendy 90s vibe this is definitely it the way the pants fit on the bottom since this outfit is super super casual and baggy and just like loose i think pairing it with a nice designer bag kind of elevates it a little bit more i think any nice fancy bag will do if not something that i like because our base is pretty 90s um, is wearing those little tiny shoulder purses i actually only own this one which is the attachment for my purse some 90s inspired sunglasses is, these are the best accessory for this kind of outfit so wearing it like this if not you can just wear it like this on top of your head this is the outfit it is so cute casual oh my gosh i love it i'm obsessed look at this how pretty Switching up styles a little bit, I figured another way to style these pants is go the minimal route, which could be layering this gray sweater with this beige jacket. Before I put on that jacket, I just put this on. This, my friends, is an outfit on its own like hold up i actually have an outfit photo on instagram that looks exactly like this except the items that i was wearing were a lot pricier let me enter a picture so you can see this is literally the exact same vibe except probably 40 dollars cheaper oh my god 
Maybe the chain is a little bit too much, so let's put her away. This outfit, yes, so freaking stunning and cute. You already know my favorite purse ever, so this could definitely go with it. Definitely on the casual side, but just to show you how you could dress this up, I'm gonna switch up my shoes to something a little bit cuter. I put on some pointy western boots, and this definitely elevates the outfit a lot more. Let's just try cuffing the bottom a little bit just to see what it looks like. So cute. This is like some high-end vibes, and you can also wear with a crossbody bag like this for like back to my original idea i'm gonna use this as a layering piece this is so cute oh my goodness it looks so classy this would be perfect for like a little saturday morning walking around town getting brunch getting some fun drinks so freaking cute oh my goodness i love this this is such a weekend look i am obsessed <laughs> styling this white turtleneck the jeans and the boots i mean this one as is is obviously a given you can never go wrong with doing a little minimal white tee denim jeans and some black and gold accessory this itself is a super cute and elevated outfit now adding some more fun layers grunging it up a little bit with this flannel i feel like the color goes amazing such a cute outfit i really like the shade of the denim with this flannel and just this in general oh my gosh it looks so elevated i cannot believe this is walmart you guys how pretty is this freaking outfit it's so 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 stylish you can even just try closing the flannel completely i've seen this a lot around pinterest especially like korean fashion they love to layer some oversized flannels like the one i'm wearing with a cross body back like this or even just a shoulder bag i really like how they style an oversized flannel with this kind of outfit if you want just like throw in a necklace like the chain i'm wearing and there you have it cute little outfit add one more layer let's say it's a really cold day you can totally throw on this puffer jacket i really like how it looks with the flannel open it just adds a little bit more texture into your outfit and again with a chain black and gold bag so pretty i love this one the last item i want to style for you guys is this really cute pair of flare yoga pants obsessed with how these pants look a super easy no-brainer way to style it is to layer a nice flannel over it tuck it in obviously adding a cute purse similar to the other outfit i style you can also bind it down so it's completely covering and you don't really see much of the turtleneck and this is a perfect outfit just to go run errands who said casual needs to be ugly this is so pretty and let me just tell you super comfortable like these pants are so soft they feel like pajamas and this flannel obviously so for more minimal vibes i put on this beige shirt this is just like an elevated version of our last outfit just equally as comfortable And for a grand finale, I'm gonna show you the most comfy, cozy outfit for yoga pants. This would be perfect for anybody that lives somewhere when it's really cold because we are layering. We have a turtleneck under this hoodie and then the cherry on top is going to be this flannel. This is so cute as is, but I wanna see what it looks like if we switch up the shoes. This is the perfect rainy day outfit. Just wanna be cozy, comfy, shoes that can take the rain, a hood to protect yourself from the rain. My goodness, this is a Walmart outfit. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you didn't notice already, this was so much fun for me. Definitely gonna be an ongoing series on my channel. I can already see that. Let me know in the comments below what other outfits you'd like me to style from Walmart. I need to rethink where I shop for my clothes, especially when it comes to saving money. Honestly, every single piece that I picked looks so nice. I hope you guys like this video. And next time you're at Walmart, maybe check out their clothing section. I know I will. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.